Welcome back to M. Ratthitch channel, the best place to learn table tennis. The video has the subtitle. Please turn on captioning for better understanding. John J.K. Masterclass Lesson 8, Forehand and Backhand Push Technique, Master the Underspin. The tutorial is explained by Jean J.K. Grand Slam Player in Table Tennis, translated by Coach M. Rathich. Tutorial with voiceover of Coach M. Rathich. If you love the video, give me a thumb up, thank you very much. Hello everyone, welcome to this session of my table tennis course. Tutorial translated by Coach M. Rathich. Let's learn the skills and practice methods of pushing the ball. Usually in games, table tennis players will push the ball to restrict the opponent's attack, disrupt the opponent's rhythm, create opportunities for yourself to attack. The trick here is to master the spin of the ball. Control the ball's landing point. In the previous course of learning to topspin the ball, we've already talked about the spinning ball. What is different from the spinning ball? Learned in the ball topspinning course is that when pushing the ball, we need to start learning how to deal with backspin. What is backspin? For example, topspin is the direction in which the wheels rotate. When driving normally, backspin is the direction in which the wheels spin when reversing. It is very difficult to practice ball pushing well, in addition to basic flat pushing. The rotation pattern of the ball varies depending on the opponent's incoming ball. Technically, it also includes quick pushing, slow sway, long and short strokes and handle different rotations of the ball. These technologies need to be learned slowly. After you improve your abilities, when pushing the ball, want to create effective backspin. First of all, you need to depend on the landing point and rotation of the incoming ball. Choose to push with your forehand or backhand. When I first started practicing, you can practice flat pushing first to find the feeling of pushing the ball. Let's look at the backhand ball first. You should pay attention to the need for your right shoulder and elbow to sink down. The moment of pushing the ball, keep your wrist steady. Don't exert force. Grasp the racket with your palms. Feel the power of your fingers. After hitting the ball, the palm returns to a more relaxed grip. Makes it easier to adjust your grip when catching the next ball. When pushing the ball with your backhand, it's through subtle adjustments to the grip of the playing hand to feel the difference in the feeling in your hands and the impact point. Be careful when pushing the ball. The body should adjust to follow the direction of the ball. Use the center of gravity of the body to suppress the arc of the ball. When pushing the ball with the forehand, the upper body posture is basically the same as when pushing the ball with the backhand. Right shoulder and elbow drop down. By changing the direction of the hand. To adjust the hitting point. And the friction feeling of hitting the ball. The hand holding the shot should also be relaxed. Keep your wrist stable. At the moment of hitting the ball, use the hand to hold the racket tightly 
and exert force to complete the ball grinding. I use the traditional method of holding the racket and exerting force when pushing the ball. Slightly different, the racket hand will not use force when not hitting the ball. At the moment of hitting the ball, hold the racket tightly with your palms to exert force and then return to a relaxed state. In the process of pushing the ball, you should pay attention to hitting the ball as far in front of your body as possible. When hitting the ball, feel more about the feeling of your fingers and wrists touching the ball. The footwork of pushing the ball is generally divided into two types. One is with the left foot in front, one is with the right foot in front. When pushing the ball with the forehand, right foot forward, the center of gravity is on the right foot. When pushing the ball with your back hand, adjust it according to your own habits. When I backhand the ball, I like my right foot in front. Because with my right foot in front, my center of gravity can better lower the mark. And the next version will start faster. In addition to pushing the ball with forehand and backhand, there is also the ball pushing inside the stage. When pushing the ball on the table, the most important thing is that the steps under your feet should be hooked. When playing the table ball, by judging the rotation and landing point of the opponent's ball, the footwork needs a little more movement. Use hand control to ensure the quality of the ball return. Many people know that I'm in the middle of the game. We'll use the short swing at the right time to seek breakthroughs. You can try to practice some short swings. Besides practicing ball pushing, you will definitely not be able to grasp it well at the beginning. Don't be impatient, just know where the problem is. Practice the basic movements of pushing the ball and the feeling of pushing the ball well. Anything in your opinion, difficult technology. In fact, they are all based on solid basic skills. In this lesson you will learn the techniques of forehand, backhand and on table pushing. The ball is pushed bad to produce backspin through friction. You can also make a non-spinning ball to disrupt the opponent's techniques, tactics, and When pushing rhythm. the ball, pay attention to the rotation and angle Control of the Control your own ball. shape and the position of contact with the ball through judgment. In fact, pushing the ball has also brought me a lot of help. When you feel good pushing the ball during a game, it will make me feel that my techniques and tactics make my are playing smooth. style more comprehensive. When you master the key to pushing the ball, I hope you can pick up your racket and go to the court to practice. Do 5 sets of 20 push for both front and back hands. Of course the more the better. It's good to experience the feeling of pushing the ball. See you in the next class. The next videos are found on Pinkson Day. Hello,欢迎你们来到我的乒乓球课程。这一讲我们来学习搓球的技能和练习方法。通常在比赛中乒乓球选手会通过搓球来制约对手的进攻,扰乱对手的节奏,为自己创造进攻的机会。这里面的诀窍就是掌握球的旋转,控制球的落点。
。和拉球课程里学到的旋转球有所不同的是，搓球的时候我们要开始学习对下旋球的处理。什么是下旋球呢？打个比方，上旋球是正常开车的时候，车轮旋转的方向。下旋球就是倒车的时候，车轮旋转的方向。想要练好搓球是非常难的，除了基本的平搓，根据对方来球的旋转，版型也有所不同。在技术上还包括快搓、慢搓、晃搓、搓长、搓短和应付不同旋转的搓球。这些技术需要你在提升自己能力以后慢慢学习。在搓球时，想要搓出有效的下旋球，首先需要你根据来球的落点和旋转不同，选择用正手去搓还是反手去搓。在刚开始练习的时候，你可以先练平搓，来找到搓球的感觉。先来看反手搓球，你要注意右肩和肘部需要向下沉。搓球的瞬间，手腕保持稳定，不要发力。手掌抓紧球拍，感受手指的力量。击球后，手掌恢复到比较放松的持拍力度。方便接下一球时，调整握拍的手型。反手搓球的时候，就是通过握拍手型细微的调整，来感受手上的感觉。和击球点的不同，搓球的时候要注意，身体要跟随来球的方向进行调整，用身体的重心去压住球的弧线。正手搓球时，上身姿势和反手搓球基本一致，右肩和肘部向下沉，通过改变手的方向来调整击球点和击球的摩擦感觉。同样，持拍的手要放松，保持手腕的稳定。在击球的瞬间，通过手掌握紧球拍发力来完成搓球。我在搓球上与传统的持拍和发力方法有略微不同。持拍手在不击球的状态下不会用力，在击球瞬间，手掌攥紧球拍发力，然后再恢复到放松状态。在搓球的过程中，你要注意击球点尽量在身体前面。击球时，多去体会手指、手腕接触球的感觉。搓球的步伐一般分为两种，一种是左脚在前，一种是右脚在前。正手搓球时，右脚在前，重心在右脚上面。反手搓球的时候，根据自己的习惯进行调整。我反手搓球时，喜欢右脚在前，因为右脚在前能使我的重心更好的压低弧线，并且下一板启动会更快。除了正反手搓球，还有就是台内的搓球。台内搓球的时候，最重要的就是脚下的步伐要上够。在搓台内球的时候，通过判断对方来球的旋转和落点，步伐要多一点移动，配合手上的控制来保证回球的质量。
那很多人都知道，我在比赛过程中会在合适的时机使用摆短来寻求突破。你可以在搓球练习之余，尝试着练一些摆短。一开始肯定会掌握不好，不要心急，知道问题在哪儿就好。把基本搓球的动作和摩擦球的感觉练好。任何在你看来高难度的技术，其实都是建立在扎实的基本功上面的。这讲你学习到正反手和台内搓球的技术。搓球是通过摩擦产生下旋球，你也可以搓出不转球来扰乱对方的技战术和节奏。搓球时要注意判断对手来球的旋转和角度。通过判断控制自身板型和接触球的部位，其实搓球也给我带来了很大的帮助。在比赛中搓球感觉好的时候，会让我感觉自己的技战术使用非常流畅，使我的打法更加全面。That's pretty late. 当你掌握了搓球的要领的时候，我希望你能够拿起球拍到场地里去练习一下，正反手分别搓二十个一组，搓五组，当然数量越多越好，从中体会搓球的感觉。好了，我们下节课见。Read more about table tennis on my blog, pingsunday.com. Get free ebook and coaching advices. See you in the next video.